Hello everyone, this is Abul Bari Al Halimi, and we will inshallah continue the second part of neurology. We are going to talk about some diseases affecting the brain itself, then some disorders of the spinal cord, and finally headache disorders. We will talk about the disease in brief, then causes and symptoms, diagnosis, and finally the treatment. Before we start, you must have seen the first part because this presentation is dependent on it or at least be aware of the basics of seeing us let's start first Parkinson disease which is known with disturbance in some neurotransmitters specifically reduction of dopamine dopamine is produced in the substantia nigra in the midbrain and functions in the striatum in the basal ganglia which is responsible of inhibiting jerky movements Dopamine works along with the stylcholine to maintain body movements. Dopamine inhibits and acetylcholine excites. Causes of the disease are not really well known, so it's most, it is mostly idiopathic, but sometimes it could be related to some other diseases. Symptoms can be predicted since we know that we have dopamine reduction, and dopamine's function is to inhibit unwanted actions. Main symptoms are resting tremor, meaning the patient is not moving, Fugue rigidity, meaning sudden relaxation and resistance of the limb during passive movement, abnormal body posture, and bradykinesia, which is low speed of movement. Diagnosis of the disease is mainly by the clinical presentation of the patient along with the findings of the physical examination. Notice here that treatment of the disease is not curative. It only aims to relieve the symptoms. Control of neurotransmitters levels will lead to control of the symptoms. And here, mostly, first-line treatment are MAO-B inhibitors. Second, Huntington disease. Huntington disease is a genetic neurodegenerative disease. And remember that it is autosomal dominant. Causes of the disease are purely genetic. There will be repetition in CAG trinucleotide leading to chorea, which is purposeless involuntary movements, like dancing, dementia because it is degenerative disease, and other psychotic symptoms. Diagnosis of, of Huntington disease is mainly by the clinical presentation and CT scan will show obvious brain atrophy. Again, treatment is not curative. And in Huntington disease, we want to prevent the complications of the disease. Alzheimer's disease, which is also called senile dementia, causing many impairment of brain functions. Causes of the disease are not conclusive. However, it is obvious that genetic factors are strongly accusative factor. Other factors include having low intellectual functions or other diseases affecting the brain. Symptoms occur gradually with impairment in memory and cognitive functions. Diagnosis of Alzheimer's is by the clinical presentation and MRI scan will show shrinkage of the brain. Unfortunately, treatment is not curative and do not improve the progression of the disease, but it only improves the neuropsychological defects. Fourth, brown sicard syndrome which is simply a lesion of one half of the spinal cord, leading to multiple neural disturbance. Before we study the syndrome, one has to appreciate the tracts of the spinal cord in order to understand the condition. Here, the syndrome is very rare in its view presentation. Thus, mostly it is incomplete. Symptoms are divided according to the level of the disturbance and site of the disturbance depending on site of the hemisection, whether it is ipsilateral to the lesion or contralateral to it. Fifth, syringomyelia, which is a rare condition where a cyst present with the, within the spinal cord, and this cyst contains fluids, causing some disturbance in neural functions. Condition mostly occurs accompanied with Arnold Chiari syndrome, and symptoms depend on the site of the cyst. Diagnosis of the condition is by the clinical presentation, but it must be confirmed with MRI scan to show the cyst, and treatment is by removal of it. Last part are headaches. Headaches are either primary, 
which are our topics, meaning their causes are not really well known. We have three main types. First, cluster, which is the most severe one, lasting for less time, and it is worse than childbirth. Second, migraine, which is in the middle. Its, in in its intensity varies from moderate to severe and lasts for moderate time. Add to that, classic migraine occurs as pure attack, while complicated has Iora, which are light flashes, occurring immediately before the attack. Tension, which is the last one, is the lowest in intensity, but could last longer than other types. Some variation between tension and migraine have to be appreciated. In diagnosis, each type has its own criteria of diagnosis, depending on the intensity, localization, duration, frequency, and most important, the accompanied features. Talking about treatment, all types have same general treatment like life readjustment. However, the special treatment depends on the severity of the condition. We see that severe types are treated with triptan, while mild to moderate with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay, quick recap. Parkinson's disease is caused by reduction of dopamine that causes resting tremor and bradykinesia. Huntington disease is an autosomal dominant neurodegenerative disorder causing chorea. Alzheimer's disease causes cortex atrophy and impaired memory. Brown Sicard syndrome is a hemisection of the spinal cord leading to loss of function depending on the site of the lesion. Syringomyelia is fluid filled cyst in the spinal cord. And lastly, primary headaches are organized in order. Cluster is the most severe one, migraine is in the middle, while tension could be tolerated. I hope you enjoyed the video. Wish you the best. Thank you all.